Before we begin the hands-on portion of this video series, I want to give you an overview of the complete machine learning workflow so you know what to expect once we start actually using the software tools. I think this will be helpful for you to keep the big picture in mind as what we are trying to accomplish when we are using machine learning tools inside of ArcGIS Pro. First, we're going to load data sets into ArcGIS Pro. This is very easy, especially if you have any experience using ArcGIS Pro. Then we will create a classification schema. This means that we will define areas of the image that we are interested in having machine learning automatically identify once we run an appropriate algorithm. In the disaster management case study that we'll use for the hands-on portion of these videos, this means that we want to identify parts of the image that represent destroyed buildings, damaged trees, roads, and blue tarps that were placed on the roofs of damaged buildings. Then, using the classification scheme, we will create what are called training samples. The basic idea here is that we will digitize a few vector polygons that are representative of categories within the classification schema. These polygons will then become the training samples that we will use to teach the machine how to classify the image. Once we have the training samples, we will then feed them into the machine learning algorithm. As I mentioned previously, for the lab, we are going to use support vector machine. After running the classification, we will do assessment. And you might ask, why do we need to do assessment? Well, the value of a machine learning algorithm is ultimately determined by how effective the algorithm is at actually classifying items correctly. Determining the accuracy of a machine learning algorithm involves the general process of comparing samples that have been ground truthed by a human with the same samples that have been classified by the machine. So for the assessment, we will create accuracy assessment points and then compare those accuracy assessment points that we created as humans with the classifications created by the machine. To then quantify the overall accuracy of the machine learning algorithm, we will then compute what is known as a confusion matrix. A confusion matrix is a very helpful tool for determining how accurate a given machine learning algorithm is. In this video series, I'm only going to show you support vector machine, but there are other classification learning algorithms in ArcGIS Pro that perform similar outputs. And in fact, it can be an interesting research topic to compare the accuracy of different machine learning algorithms. In the next part of this video series, I'll walk you through a GIS laboratory exercise focused on machine learning and ArcGIS Pro. I provided a link to the GIS laboratory exercise in the video description below. This laboratory exercise has been designed to tie together all of the concepts I've discussed previously so that you can apply these concepts to actual practice and build your GIS skill set. I'll use the Hurricane Dorian disaster management case study as an example of how you can complete this laboratory exercise. However, I encourage you not to simply follow my example and transfer these eyes to a spatial problem you're interested in solving. Welcome to the hands-on portion of this video series. To begin, we'll start with task one, step one, and this is where we will download the data sets and I've already done that. And I've put them in an easy to find location on a Windows system using the C temp directory. And you get a zip file, and I'm going to use the tool 7-zip to right click on what I downloaded, and I'll extract it to a folder like this. And inside of this folder, you'll see another folder called data sets. And here are the different data sets we'll work with during this hands-on demonstration. So next up, we'll do task two, step one. And before you do that, you should open up ArcGIS Pro, and I'm going to be demonstrating 
this laboratory exercise using ArcGIS Pro version 2.7.1. And that's what I have here. And for this exercise, I'm going to use a blank map template. And I'm going to save it right in the directory where I downloaded the data sets. And that's going to be ctemp. And I will not create a new folder. And I'll call it machine learning. And I'll adjust ArcGIS Pro to make the map more prominent. So for task two, add data sets, step one, I'm going to add all the exercise data sets to my map. And to do this, I'll click on the map tab, add data. and then data where I'll go to the folder where I downloaded the data sets and I want to add the Dorian excerpt TIFF file to my map. And this is the image that we're going to eventually run the machine learning algorithm on. And this is from the case study of Hurricane Dorian in the Bahamas. Now I recommend that you add the imagery base map available in ArcGIS Pro, as this will give you a comparison of what this area looked like before Dorian struck, as you see in the Dorian excerpt image. So to do that, I'll go to base map, imagery, and you can turn off the Dorian excerpt. The image is not going to be as clear, but should give you an idea of what this looked like before the disaster struck. The following are references used for this lecture. Hi, this is Brian Tomaszewski. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share this video. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and clicking the notification icon to stay up to date on new videos from this channel. Thanks for watching.